Guys, it's John here. I am uh, coming to you today from Morristown on a beautiful morning. Um, we're at a really interesting place here. Um, it's actually the abandoned campus of Morristown College. And a lot of history here I'm going to share with you as we go along. Um, really cool place to see. We're going to check it out and see what's left. Um, I'm actually joined today, I'm really excited to be joined by the carpet bagger. Hey, and uh, we're going to go inside this first building here, take a look, and just kind of explore around a little bit. All right, so this is former Morristown College abandoned in the 1990s. It's one of the first and the only African American colleges in the area. This is one of the first African American colleges in this area. It was built, established in 1881. This first building here, I believe partially was a maintenance building, but this kind of looks like a classroom of sorts. Got some old boards here on the wall. It's a really cool place. Around in here. See how the place is just falling apart. It is actually was closed in 1994 and has said abandoned ever since. And after the Civil War, this place was established for post-primary education for African Americans. They felt it important that they receive a college education and they developed this university. And after the Civil Rights Movement in the 60s, African Americans were now able to receive state education and state funding, so it really hurt the school, and by 1994, it closed its doors. All right, guys, sorry about that. My batteries went dead. Probably should have checked that before I came inside this building. But we're going back in now. Pick back up where we left off. Yeah, I thought this was the maintenance building, but it seems that part of it was right here with the door and possibly a maybe a shop area. storage closet it looks like janitor closet perhaps the science labs before we left off it's got the old cabinets all kinds of dissections experiments going on in here we we'll look at what Jacob was looking at here is this homework some it's still left here from 1995 Ceilings are falling through. The building seems pretty structurally sound though overall. File cabinets. Graduated pipettes, volumetric pipettes. Although it looks like the pipettes themselves are long gone. Unfortunate. Microscope. Are there any microscopes left? No microscopes left. Here's where the uh, the old blackboard would have been. So you know, imagine students back here asking teacher Jacob, "Can I go to the restroom?" Yes, sir. <laughs> 
some people. <laughs> All these rooms are much the same. people signing the chalkboard. Exhaust pipe for something. Home egg. Teach them how to cook, maybe. A little compressor motor up there. Some sort of like. Oven or something? That's what I'm wondering. This keeps going. Hard to imagine this was once thriving with students all around in here going to class bells ringing yeah I tend to agree with Jacob on this one, some sort of science building, chemistry labs, stuff like that going on in there. So, pretty neat building though. Uh, on to the next. This looks to be the gymnasium. Tickets, please. anybody oh goodness that's that's creepy right there that's creepier Whoa. than the murder room if you ask me Whoa. this is like some kind of holocaust room or something Two Johns, no waiting. Another shower room, perhaps male, female shower rooms, maybe, or home and away. Those two toilets are awfully close together. 
you have to be uh, close to someone to share her time in here. <laughs> Looks like there was t probably sinks here. Oh, yeah. Either that or it's a big row of toilets. Big row of toilets, yeah. <laughs> I could definitely use a brighter flashlight. Yeah, I just got this one the other day. That's a graffiti on the wall. A lot of broken glass in here. Yeah. Looks like someone's busted all the windows out of this place. Every window's been shattered. Upstairs? Yeah. I believe this was, I believe the gym floor is possibly upstairs. Right by the ticket booth and upstairs. snakes in the toilet. There's, there's popcorn, man. bag of popcorn in there. Well, okay. Is this tray is a homosexual? I'm not sure the tray is. Crap shot. Did somebody take a crap shot in the gym? Oh boy. We are in the gymnasium, home of the Red Knights basketball team. The Red Knights? The Red Knights, I believe, is what they were called. Shaquille O'Neal's had a hold of that, the whole backboard's busted out. Nice architecture work in here. The hardwood, I know it's hard to see is still there, the original wood on the floor. Let's imagine the cheering fans all in the seats here while they're playing basketball on this court. We got a picture of a basketball team. The 1992, probably the last team assembled here because the school did close in 94 according to Google. And that's the 92-93 basketball team. Still pictured up here. This one's in even better shape. There's a hole on the floor. Don't want to be on the business end of that. The 91-92 team. Shot clock. He is on a very sketchy looking part of the floor there. And part of big guy problems is you're always afraid of falling through the floor. enjoying a wonderful basketball game here. Wonder how much mischief went on underneath the stairs. Now, one little tidbit about this place is it was on the East Tennessee National Registry of uh, Endangered Historic Places and they tried to put together grants and stuff to actually come in and fix this place up, restore it, because it is a historical landmark here. But the owners refused. They don't want anything to do with it. They said, we're just going to tear it all down. And it's kind of sad that it's just being left to decay. No one's putting any effort into 
actually trying to restore the place the owners just refused to do it so but the city is trying to take the place over and actually renovate and kind of preserve the property <laughs> 